again, YouTubers! Welcome to another edition where we talk about some Game of Thrones things that I've really had a thought about, and particularly relate to some theories that people are bringing up for the next season. This time around, we're going to talk about Tyrion Lannister, whether or not he is one of the secret Targaryens that people talk about a lot. Now, suspect number one for this issue is normally Jon Snow, but some people have been bringing up Tyrion Lannister in particular. Why have they been talking about it? Let's explore! Well, first of all, the thought is about the relationship between Tywin Lannister and also the Mad King, Aerys Targaryen. Alright, so, as we know about Tywin Lannister, he has hated Tyrion pretty much all of Tyrion's life. He thought he was a drunken little lustfill, like Tywin has said on the show, and that there really hasn't been a lot of solid contribution from him towards the family. Now, a lot of people wonder, the reason why he's hated him pretty much since birth and didn't throw him into the water was not necessarily because his last name was Lannister, like Tywin always say, but instead it's because the Mad King Aerys, who was very jealous of Tywin while he was the Hand of the King, possibly went and raped her wife Johanna. That's a little bit of a problem. I think it can be contrived to some degree, but it makes sense. Mad King Aerys was very much jealous of Tywin throughout his rule. Most people would say that be even though the kingdom was very prosperous, it was due to Tywin's shrewdness and not Aerys's own abilities himself. So that could cause a little bit of jealousy, and since he is the Mad King, he would have no problem trying to take Tywin's wife for himself. Who's really going to do anything about it other than Tywin? Now that's where it comes in. Maybe it happened and he did absolutely do something. That's when he abandoned the crown and his post as Hand of the King, went back to the rock, and did not help the Mad King when he called for the banners in Robert's Rebellion. So maybe that's exactly why Tyrion was born. He hated Tyrion because he is the product of a sexual assault, essentially, between the Mad King and his wife Joanna. You know, there is one piece of information, however, that I tend to overlook, that I think a lot of people overlook. You know, when he was about to die, uh, Tywin Lannister, with Tyrion staring him down with a crossbow, um, I think about a quote from The Dark Knight. Now, this isn't the Bible or anything like that, totally not canon. But, he kept repeating, you're my son. Now, I think that was the comfort Tyrion and let him know that, like, please, you're my son, don't kill me right now. But... It was very important that when I think of the Joker, he goes, you know, when the chips are down and basically people are about to die, they show who they really are. Um, and I think at that last minute, Tywin didn't show who he really is, but showed Tyrion who he really is. And when he finally was shot the first time and said, you're no son of mine. Now, you could argue that was just being a really hate-filled statement, but I would very much make the argument that Tywin von, like, finally knows he's about to die and says, you know what? forget it, I'm just gonna let him know, he's not my son. But here's where I think there's a flaw that comes in. No matter what, Tywin always talks about the importance of family. Because Tyrion does have the name Lannister. He has golden hair like the Lannisters. He's shrewd just like his father. Now maybe there's a possibility that he will end up going mad just like Aerys. I don't know, a lot of people kick that around about Daenerys as well. But it looks like many signs indicate that he is indeed still Tywin's son. My main indicator is, although I think the possibility of a rape is something that's definitely standing out, one thing that makes me believe that Tywin absolutely is the father, and he knows it, is that he sent Tyrion to King's Landing to become Hand of the King when Joffrey was first basically starting out in his kingdom, and Tywin was off fighting against the Starks. I don't think he would trust something that important to someone that was an illegitimate child of his. Um, ultimately, I think he would have even possibly called his brother Keevan there, I don't know. And for one second, can we talk about how in that exchange between Tywin and the Queen of Thorns, by the way, Tywin, one of my favorite characters ever, um, there's a big thing going back and forth between, oh, he's gay, you're full of incest and everything, and he's like, no, it's all a lie. If you didn't know this, Joanna is actually Tywin's first cousin, and they ended up getting married. Now, I don't know how much the cousin thing really matters in Game of Thrones, clearly not all that much to Cersei and Lancel, but let it be known that Tywin did marry his first cousin and fell in love with her. So take that for what it's worth. Not related, but fun fact nonetheless. 
So now is where I want you to let me know what you think. Do you think Tyrion is a secret Targaryen, along with some that have been throwing out there like a Jon Snow? In the books there's a few more possibilities, but what do you think about Tyrion himself? Is he possibly going to end up riding one of these dragons in the end of things? Is he going to go mad? I don't know. Uh, my own belief, I don't think he necessarily is, but I want to hear a good debate from you down in the comments. And this week's winner of the Marvel Mini Bobblehead is Hank Shoot. Hank Shoot, please message me on my channel. I will absolutely get this sent out to you as soon as I possibly can, and we can see exactly which bobblehead you just won. Alright, so I'm going to have my next video up, hopefully by next Wednesday. Um, it's going to be centered around more Game of Thrones things. I'm going to try to do one about the comic uh, panel that just happened this past weekend with Disney, because uh, there's a lot of cool stuff about Captain America Civil War coming out. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day.